Hi everyone, and in today's video, we're gonna take a look at what I believe to be one of the most undervalued bottles of Macallan on the market, and that is the Macallan 1937, 37 year old. It's quite a bold claim to say that this is one of the most undervalued bottles of Macallan on the market. So let's see if we can back this up. But first of all, let's take a look at the bottle itself. Now, as you can see, it looks different, completely different to most bottles of Macallan that you'll be familiar with. At the very top of the label, on the main body label, it says Macallan Glenlivet. And this is a throwback when Macallan was called and released Macallan Glenlivet. And they dropped this suffix slightly later. And this was bottled in 1974. So it's a 1937 vintage, matured for 37 years, and it was released in 1974. Now, it says here that it was bottled by Gordon and McPhail, rather than being bottled at the distillery, which is the case with most modern or all modern bottlings of Macallan that are released by the distillery. And the reason for this is simple. There was a law until around 1980 that distilleries couldn't bottle their own product. They had to employ a third party bottling facility to do their bottling. Now, Macallan used two people to do this. From the 1950s to the 1970s, they used a company called Campbell, Hope and King, and they also used Gordon and McPhail. And it's Gordon and McPhail who bottled this bottle of Macallan. Now, it's important to note that this is an official distillery released bottle. It's not an independently bottled, you know, bottle of Macallan. This is an official distillery release. And this Macallan Glenlivet label is actually the first, or widely believed and understood to be the first official Macallan label that was released by the distillery. It also says here that it was imported by Pinarello of Italy and uh, Pinarello were, were, were importers and this bottle was originally destined for the Italian market. It's underneath a screw cap, so it's not under a driven cork. There's no capsule around the screw cap, but we've protected it here with some parafilm to protect its very, very good level. And of course, with it being an Italian bottling, you've got the tax strip over the top of the bottle here. So. All in, it's a very nice bottle. 75 centiliters, which is the standard. That standard didn't change until the 1990s. It was through the 1980s, it was 75 centiliters. And then it's bottled at 43% as well. So there it is. It's a very good looking bottle. It's got an extremely high fill level. Now it was distilled in 1937 and it's a 37 year old official Macallan bottling and yet it only makes on average around three to three and a half thousand pounds at auction. Now, that in itself seems cheap when you compare it to the likes of Macallan Private Eye, which is in fact a no aid statement bottle released in the 1990s, and that makes between ooh, four, four to four, four and a half thousand pounds at the moment at auction. So this 37, 1937 bottling it's actually cheaper than bottles like Macallan Private Eye at the moment. But that's not the kicker. And there's a bottle of this whiskey which makes considerably more. And this is why I believe it to be the most undervalued bottle of Macallan that's on the market at the moment. In order to begin to appreciate how undervalued this bottle is, you've got to take a look at the Macallan Fine and Rare 1937 37 year old because essentially that bottle is the identical brother to this bottle and I'll explain more now. The Macallan Fine and Rare series was started in 2002 and it comprises 57 different releases that span eight different decades from the 1920s all the way through until the 1990s. Now what's interesting about the Fine and Rare series is that of the 57 bottles, 42 of them were new cask bottlings, but 15 of them were actually re-bottlings. But what do I mean when I say that these fine and rare releases were re-bottlings? Well, these 15 re-bottlings is essentially where the distillery bought back bottled stock, opened the bottles, decanted them into the new bottles for the fine and rare series, sealed them up, labeled them and re-released them. So there's nothing wrong with this. And the, you may think that re-bottling requires some amazing bottling facility, but in all likelihood, it probably just took someone sat at the Macallan Distillery in the spirits verification of scheme approved warehouse, etc., decanting one bottle into another bottle. So now we get to the crux of the matter. 15 of the fine and rare editions have been re-bottled 
older bottles of whiskey. And one of them, the 1937, 37 year old, you guessed it, is an exact re-bottling of this bottle. Now, what Macallan would have done, as we've mentioned, they would have bought back these bottles from the market, from collectors. We don't know the source of where they bought them from, but they would have bought back these bottles and then they would have repackaged them and re-released them with the Macallan Fine and Rare bottle and the Macallan Fine and Rare packaging and all their beautiful handwritten labels. Now, here's the kicker. This bottle, 1937, 37 year old, you're gonna get sick of me saying that, is worth about 3,000 pounds at auction. The last bottle of 1937, 37 year old from the Fine and Rare series sold at auction at Sotheby's for 33,880 pounds. Now let's be clear, this is exactly the same whiskey. The whiskey in this bottle is exactly the same whiskey that is in the Macallan Fine and Rare bottle. But it's the price, well obviously the price is different, but it's the packaging and it's the production of the Fine and Rare series which really gives it its, 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 its value really. Now, why is this? And I'm gonna just sort of give you a few thoughts. My opinion is that these bottles, these early bottles, these early vintage bottles, they're too scary for a lot of collectors to get involved in. If you Google Macallan and fake in Italy in a sentence on Google, you'll find that there's so many accused bottles or accused Italian bottles of being fake. There's not enough understanding of these rarer and older bottles from the 1970s and 80s to give the, the buyers confidence. Yet the Macallan Fine and Rare series, each one had a unique number. It's got handwritten details on the label. You can call up the distillery and you can check what bottle was released to who. And you can find out all these bits of information about it. This bottle just comes to the collector at face value. There we have it then, it's Macallan 1937, 37 year old. Now the whiskey inside this glass bottle is worth about three to three and a half thousand pounds. If you put the whiskey from inside this glass bottle into a fine and rare bottle, it's worth 30 to 35 thousand pounds. And a good way to summarize the absurdity of it is this. For the same price as a miniature fine and rare 1937, 37 year old, which is about three and a half thousand pounds, you can buy this entire bottle, original, much scarcer, and much more beautiful, in my opinion. Now, if you've got any bottles of Macallan, and you want them valued, and you want advice on how to sell them, please get in touch, and we'll be happy to give you advice. And make sure that you subscribe and like the channel, and finally, we've got lots more videos like this coming your way soon.